All right, Summer, uh, first goal, congratulations. Um, just tell, walk us through the moment that you scored and then the feeling afterwards. Yeah, um, I think before the goal happened, uh, Audrey played me one and I thought I had a sitter and I missed it. So I knew after that I was going to put myself in any opportunity to get that goal back. Um, so uh, um, Angelina played a great ball in off the cross and I just tried to time the run and find an opening and just place it. Once I saw the goal, I knew I could place it on the side. So yeah, it's just super exciting. and. To get that um, point here, it was it was an amazing feeling and a good start to the season. And coming on as a second half substitute, you know, what's your thought process there to stay ready and know that you can make an impact at any time? Yeah, I think I have a good understanding of my role um, to, you know, get on the ball, um, cause chaos in the attack, and score goals obviously, and help us win games and help us tie games in like these scenarios. So, I think I know my role, and I think everyone on the bench knows their role also. So it was super exciting to be able to be that person today, but. I think it was a good team, like, fight today. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, no, and you talk about the team fight, and you kind of look at some results last year um, compared to tonight. You know, I think there is a pretty large difference. Can you just speak to what that kind of means for the group moving forward and, and what that meant to you personally as well to see the team see through the point? Yeah, I think last year that game could have ended in, in 2-0, but I think our mentality this year and, like, who we are as a team, we're not going to settle for losses on away trips. Um, we're always looking to at least get a point. And I, everyone knows that on this team, and I think that's what's really special this year. And what we really lacked last year, we had a lot of losses, but not a lot of ties, and those points matter coming into playoffs. So I think as a whole, we have a good understanding of what we need to do on away trips, and especially in scenarios when we're down to 10 players. And uh, we'll go ahead to Michael Citro on the Zoom. Uh, thanks for your time, Summer. Congrats on the goal. Uh, you touched on this a little bit, but uh, how much relief do you feel uh, scoring that goal after uh, not being able to finish the, the previous chance uh, from Adriana? Yeah, I think it's for me. Um, I always know that, you know, it's hard to get opportunities in this league. And after I miss out one, my mindset really was not to shut down, but find the next moment and the next moment you're going to capitalize on it. So I think that was my moment, um, and I'm lucky to get, get another opportunity on goal. So for me to have the confidence in myself, um, it felt really good and really special that I could show that today. And finally, first match down, how good is it to feel, you know, get past preseason and uh, be back here um, playing, playing your first match and yeah. starting the season? Yeah, it feels great. I think this team is really special, and um, we're really together, and that's our mentality this this year is to stick together and take every game game by game. Um, so we're all really pumped, really excited, and this is a big point for us and a good start to our season. And one more here from uh, Michael Citro. Go ahead, Michael. Summer, uh, when the team went, you're already down a goal. Uh, the team goes down, a player when Strom gets sent off. Uh, what, what's the mentality then? Because it, it really seemed like from that point of the game, at least until you guys equalized, you really kind of took the game to Louisville rather than uh, allowing racing to, to keep the ball and, and just waste the clock. Yeah, um, exactly. We're every away trip. We want to get at least a point. We never want to lose. So we were first going at them, even with 10 players down, we knew we had to get a goal. We need, knew we had to get a tie here. Um, once we got that equalizing goal, our mentality was, Hey, we're down to 10 players. Let's keep it. Let's see this game out. And, get the point every point matters so getting that point really matters to us and that was our mentality after um getting that equalizing goal and one more from jackie maynard hey summer um congrats on that goal i actually wanted to ask and it was it was on michael's podcast Haley talked about the work that you put in this off season uh she said it, you know to you're one to keep an eye out and on and you come in you score that equalizer can you maybe just tell us you know what your work was like and uh you know, going from your first year to your second year, just, just how that process has been. Yeah, I think this off season was huge for me. Uh, shout out to my trainer, Steve White. We got Whitehead. Um, he trained me all off season. Uh, he was great. Um, but yeah, I really, the coaches told me I had to be fitter, I had to be stronger and I had to be faster. And I really took that to heart. Um, I think last year I had the technical ability, but I didn't have the fitness. I didn't have the strength. So I really leaned on that this year. Um, and it really shows in my game now. I'm able to close players down faster. I'm able to get in behind defenses. So I'm really excited for that. And I definitely did put a lot of work in. So I'm glad to see a show in the first game.